Let's get some analysis of these Supreme Court rulings from yesterday. One we just covered, which was the high court shooting down President Obama's appointments to the NLRB. The other, which we explained last hour, was the Supreme Court invalidating the state law in Massachusetts on buffer zones at abortion clinics. Attorney Adam Thompson is with us live this morning from New York City. Adam, talk about the NLRB decision by the high court. Sure, good morning. Well, this is a big victory for First Amendment uh, freedom of speech advocates it's out there. This really has nothing to do with the issue of abortion itself, whether it should be legalized or not, but whether you have a right to free speech regarding it and how close you can get to a clinic, for example, to express that thought. Um, the Supreme Court was u- unanimous in this decision. You know, Massachusetts had a state law, state law that barred protesters from getting within a certain range of a clinic to air their opinion. And what this decision did was say, hey, listen, uh, requiring protesters to say 35 feet away or more away from the entrances of the walkways is unconstitutional. You know, the, the whole idea of freedom of speech is to be able to express your thoughts to other people. And, you know, we all hear that thing, stand on the platform and, and say what you want in open forums and in the public and everything. You see those old pictures all the time. And this basically supports that, saying that people that believe that they have a problem with abortions could now stand closer to the clinics and express their views. Again, this doesn't mean that there can be violence, that they could throw things. Right. You know, the whole issue before was protecting people because they didn't want harassment. All right, so how, so how close can can they be now? Is there any kind of buffer that's been established? Well, it's, it's basically this point limited to sidewalk areas and everything else. It's still a little ambiguous whether there's going to be like a buffer zone set up, but clearly what Massachusetts has been practicing 35 feet away has been declared unconstitutional. So it's basically going to be back to sidewalks and entrance area locations. But again, uh, how close does it mean? Two feet, five feet? It, yeah. It's unclear to that amount of uh, specificity. We're speaking with attorney Adam Thompson live this morning from New York City. How about uh, these recess appointments to the National Labor Relations Board? Yeah, I mean, basically, um, it, it, two things. They told Obama that what you did was uh, improper. You overstepped your boundaries by putting in recess appointments uh, when uh, people were only out for three-day sessions. You know, the, the presidents have always appointed uh, people during recess time periods. You know, Bill Clinton and Bush each made over 100 appointments. You know, Reagan did two, two to 300. So it's very commonplace that these things happen. Uh, but what the court said now, is listen, we know that you make appointments, you just can't do it when it's such a short amount of time. Right. Obama where did, the t- did it in three days. Now where did the, the 10 days come from, Adam? 10. Where did the 10 days come from? They just pulled a number out of a hat. Can they do that? The, the Supreme Court could do what they want when they're setting <laughs> evaluations on cases. So that's going to be the new standard. So now moving forward, uh, this will be the new fight between the Senate and uh, the president of when they go on a, on a break, how long it'll be, if yeah. it's any time longer than 10 days, now the president will jump in and appoint someone. So now they're going to play games with how long breaks will be. It's going to be a new new issue down the line. Right. Hey, thanks for a few minutes. Attorney Adam Thompson with us live this morning from New York.